Hello everyone and welcome back to game week four of the 23-24 PTC Therapeutics Premiership. Where we have the final game of the day, one that promises to be one of the best of the weekend. Teesside PFC take on Newcastle United Foundation. I am once again joined on commentary by Ollie Crawshaw. How are you? Yeah, good. It's been a long day so far, but we've Newcastle managed to get two wins from two so far, so hopefully we make it three from three. So give me your thoughts on this one then, Ollie, because third versus fourth, both locked on 34 points apiece. Yeah, it's, a, it's going to be a very important game for both teams, obviously wanting to get closer to the top of the table. Whoever wins this will have the advantage. And uh, recently we've played each other twice and it's 1-1 one, one on games right now, so it could go either way. Yeah, so the, you can see the league standings on your screens currently. Obviously, Aspire leading the way on 43 points across their 15 games. But beyond that, West Brom on 37, Teesside on 34 and Newcastle United Foundation on 34. A win for either of these two teams would see them go joint on points with West Brom and Albion. And certainly from what I've seen across game week four, there's absolutely no reason why one of these two can't fight for the Premiership title. Yeah, that definitely. I think Teesside and Newcastle have uh, Aspire and West Brom to play in game week five. So um, I, I just can't wait to see how this unfolds. Um, as you mentioned, Ollie, two two wins from their two earlier games for Newcastle, 3-0 against Hull, 2-0 against Villa, so not only creating uh, in front of goal, but ensuring there is no damage at the back for them, and that will only help their goal difference, currently plus 25. Teesside with a plus 38 goal difference, really impressive. They are as well have secured two wins from their two games today. 3-1 victory over Seven Oaks, 2-1 victory over Leeds Chariots. Go through the squads very quickly before Ollie and I bring you the action live in the final game of the day. Teesside coached by Paul Pearson and Owen Swift have number four, Ed Common, number seven, Dylan Pearson, number nine, Owen Swift, Number 10, Mitch Tinkler. Number 11, Tyler Reeve. And number 17, Alistair Hay. Newcastle United Foundation, coached by Jamie Harrison, have number two, Aaron Guthrie, who secured his 50th National League goal earlier today. So huge congratulations to him. Number four, Ollie Crawshaw, is sitting to my left, so he will not feature. Number five, Albie Morris. Number eight, Lee Armstrong. Number nine, Sam Smith. And number 10, Ethan Fisher but I really can't call it typically in games such as this we see them cancel one another out so I'm hoping for some real technical ability to be shown there's no doubt their players possess it give me a, your prediction Ollie well, unbiased opinion yeah I Any think I think it's gonna it's gonna be a very close game. I know that for sure, just with pre previous encounters that uh, with uh, against each other. But I think I'm gonna go for a one-one draw. Do apologise if there's any audio issues. Hopefully they're fixed now, but we're ready to get proceedings underway. And we are live to go through the squads of the two teams as Ed Common set away immediately down the right-hand wing. Lee Armstrong has to be alert as the most defensive of the four Newcastle United players. I'll wait just a second before I bring the starting four side starting with real attacking intent 
It's Tyler Reeve picks out Mitch Tinkler, who had a fantastic game against Lee's Chariots earlier today. Common over to Tinkler. Just wide of the left-hand post, but a fantastic start. So Teesside comprised of Alistair Hay in yellow, their team in blue, Tyler Reeve, Mitch Tinkler and Ed Common. Ethan Fisher, the designated goalkeeper of Newcastle, adorning that bright pink goalkeeper jersey. Newcastle in green. Have Lee Armstrong will probably be the most defensive of the four players across this fixture. And goal threat Sam Smith and Albie Morris on either wing. Quickly taken by Tyler Reeve to Mitch Tinkler. Attempts an effort on goal again, already putting himself in some really good positions. And that ricochet guides the ball down the court. Alistair Hay with his first involvement a minute and a half into the fixture. Albie Morris does well to trap the ball. But strong play from Tyler Reeve. And he wins possession. Live on court B currently, Seven Oaks take on Leeds Chariot. Should there be any goals or updates in that one, I will bring you them live here. But thank you to all that are tuning in, to myself and Ollie for this really significant fixture in the Premiership. As Tyler Reeve once again trying to pick out Mitch Tinkler on the right. Newcastle really struggling to break this attacking pressure early on. Lee Armstrong coming across to limit the space of the Teesside number 10. Who already is causing Ethan Fisher a great amount of difficulty. Still locked up in that top right hand corner. Ethan Fisher does well initially but Leaves a gap in defence. Mitch Tinkler seems to be everywhere in the opening three minutes. He was on the court now, Ollie. What are you doing differently to try and limit this pressure for Teesside? Well, for starters, obviously I'm a winger, so I'm more advanced up the pitch, but I've played in the middle before, so I'm going to come back and help close down their wingers on the edge of the boxes to limit their opportunity and then I can help spread it out wide or back into Ethan to then play it out wide. It's good work from Fisher there. All four players for Newcastle back defending this. Mitch Tinkler has an attempt just nicks up off his chair doesn't quite get the contact he would have wanted and now Ethan Fisher with an opportunity to break contact between himself and Tyler Reeve allowed to continue from the referee I think this is going to be a physical game as there's calls for a two the play continues good work from Fisher Albie Morris has to vacate the space Fisher. First time they've had a sustained spell of pressure in the Teesside defensive half. Fisher to take, Sam Smith, the option down the line. Albie Morris well marked. The other side of the box. Direct attempt from Fisher. He wins himself and his team a corner kick. Seaside defenders just adjusting. Fired into the box. Off the front of Sam Smith's chair. Brilliant opening goal. It's something we've seen across game week four. The amount of set pieces that are being scored. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. If 
if you were watching the Newcastle v Hull game earlier, I was saying to yourself, Ryan, that in training, something that we've been working on a lot is uh, set pieces. And you can see that it's clearly working, what we've been doing. Absolutely. And arguably against the run of play, Newcastle take the lead six minutes into this game. It's been a very uh, strong start from both of the teams. Teesside probably haven't more of the possession around the box, but Newcastle have looked good on the counter, showing from that corner. Yeah. The difference is now they have that goal buffer, that goal advantage. Teesside have to really commit players forward in search of that equaliser. If we bring up the uh, top six table on your screens now, you'll see the significance of that result. Takes Newcastle up to third, joint on points with West Bromwich Albion. Could be absolutely huge for the outcome of the season. Both have had three games to play today. Two games tomorrow for both Manchester United and Nomad Knights for Newcastle. So if they're able to get th maximum points for today, they're surely going to get maximum points tomorrow, certainly based off the stand-ins and the expectations. There's no reason why they can't take 15 points from a possible 15 as they're still in contention for the Premiership. Indirect free kick here. Good chance for Teesside to level the tie. Taken by Tyler Reeve across the box to Mitch Tinkler. Ethan Fisher adjusts late but does so effectively enough to prevent that goal, that ball going over the line. can see there that goal for Sam puts him on 13 across Newcastle's 15 games or 16 including this one Mitch Tinkler once again firing an effort goal bound into the side of Ethan Fisher's chair Tinkler back to Tyler Reeve returns the favour Nice pass in play. And that is an absolutely beautiful goal. They pick their passes around the Newcastle defenders. And even as a Newcastle player, Ollie, you've got to commend yeah. that. Very uh, good team goal. I think all the attackers got in a touch there. It was the one-two between Mitch Tinkler and Ed Common. It was almost a deft touch yeah. from the Teesside number four, which guided it over the goal line. Without question, the best goal I've seen so far this weekend. Nine minutes played. It's meeting and matching, if not exceeding expectations. Teesside one, Newcastle one. on one in favour of Newcastle be taken by Ethan Fisher Albie Morris plenty of space can they maximise and capitalise on this set piece good defensive work from Ed Common as Albie Morris nearly finds the gap between Alistair Hay and Tyler Reeve This battle between Tyler and Ethan is something that we're going to see a lot it's throughout so, this game. It's so crucial to the overall outcome of the game. Such strong players, two of the best in the country, if not the world. So can't wait yeah. to see how it un unfolds. Had 10 minutes, 10 minutes remaining. Strong play from Sam Smith. Tyler Reeve comes away with the free kick.
can see Leeds nil, Seven Oaks nil on court B. This, the final game of the day. Join us tomorrow for more action in game week four of the 23-24 Premiership. Fisher down to Albie Morris. Intercepted by Mitch Tinkler. Strong play from Fisher. An attempt at goal from Albie Morris. Cleared by Alastair Hay. This is much better from Jamie Harrison's team. Got to take the game to Teesside. Fisher now. Tyler Reeve bullies his way past Sam Smith. You can see that goal for Ed Coleman. Sees him match Tyler Reeve with 16. Mitch Tinkler on nine. Tinkler guides it goal bound, just controlled by Ethan Fisher. Kept in play. Do you think Jamie will be happy with this performance so far or frustrated? Maybe mixed emotions just because we're doing stuff going forward but we're not getting up the pitch as much as he probably wanted to. We're defending quite a bit so far, so we want to be late in this game, slowly starting to put more pressure on Teesside and bring the game to them and let them do some defending instead of us doing it. Oh, it's a good opportunity there. Ethan Fisher, such a good passer. You must love having him in the centre, distributing the balls to you yeah. out wide. Especially with the power that he can generate, he can get it past a player. And then if I'm free, it can leave me to be able to take a shot or play it across the box, which is great to have for a middle person. There's few players that can connect with a ball as sweetly as Fisher can. He has responsibility of this kick in. Albie Morris just waiting to pounce. We know he can pick out his teammates. But Teesside putting up a fairly stubborn wall. And well left by Fisher. Just under 14 minutes gone. You're joining myself, Ryan Sipple, and my co-commentator, Ollie Crawshaw, for this game between Teesside and Newcastle. Currently 1-1. Sam Smith opened the score in before a excellent equaliser from Ed Common. Fisher off the post. Didn't take a connection. Didn't take a touch off Tyler Eve, should I say. Two successive hits from Ethan Fisher not allowed so an indirect free kick will resume play for Teesside he does that a fair amount doesn't he when the options aren't necessarily on he'll try and fire the ball into the defender yeah it puts pressure on the defence but also with corners being one of our strongest attributes as a team we try to look to win them as much as we possibly can. Ed Common just surpasses Sam Smith. Worth noting, them two know each other very well, having played many years together at Northern Thunder. And many years through England as well. Absolutely. Both were in the 2019 England squad that was successful in securing the Et for Nations Cup. A 
as you can see from that graphic, these chariots have taken the lead against Seven Oaks on court B. Let's bring up the standings for the top six teams in the division. See how that impacts this race. These chariots would go up to 28 points. Some ground to make up on Newcastle, Teesside and West Brom. But I think a draw is going to favour them most, certainly in their pursuit of surpassing or leapfrogging one of them in the standings. Out of play from Fisher. Three and a half minutes to be played. Teesside one, Newcastle one. Ed Common to take this kick in, fired into the box, over to Mitch Tinkler. And now a break for Newcastle. Abby Morris just couldn't quite adjust or capitalise there. He'll be frustrated with that one. Yeah, I'll be. That's not his strongest suit going all the way around, but I have to say. The last few months, he's got so much better and better at doing it. And it would be a very uh, rare thing to see him try doing it in the game. And I think this weekend, I've seen him try it the most that he's ever done. So, as his mate, it's really good to see him improving. And then that's also helping the team out as well. He's still so young. Got yeah. And he's playing uh, a lot of minutes for Newcastle who are competing right at the top of the Premiership standings but I know and I've always loved the partnership that you two have had both on and off the court so hopefully when you're back fingers crossed game week five we can see that link up play yeah. and that chemistry once again yeah hopefully Ethan Fisher just fainted to connect with that Brilliant work there. Didn't shy away from that concrete wall on the left-hand side of the Lee Westwood Sports Centre. I'm sure you can vouch for it. That would be fairly unforgiving when you make connection with that one as yeah. opposed to the central divider between Courts A and Court B. Yeah, not a, not a very nice colliding no. in either of them, but the, the wall's definitely the one that I don't want to be doing. Nice work from Sam Smith to just prevent Mitch Tinkler from receiving that ball. But late pressure from Teesside. An attempt at goal and now a chance to break. Albie Morris could have potentially controlled it, stayed in reverse, but opted to guide it up the court. And that will relieve pressure on his defence in the final minute. They won't want to do anything too rash now. Love to hear what Jamie has to say to his team at the half-time break. But likewise, with Paul Pearson and Owen Swift, the coaches of Teesside, we saw what that equaliser meant to Owen Swift, who drove in onto the court in celebration. I'm not quite sure that's allowed, but he did it anyway. Fired off the right-hand post. Didn't trouble Ethan Fisher or Lee Armstrong a great deal. But the attacking intent there from Teesside late in this first half. Down the line from Reeve, across the box. Back to Tinkler, over to Ed Common. Cleared out of danger by Ethan Fisher. A great pass in play. Goal kick has been awarded, so it must have come off a Teesside chair last. That's a quickly taken goal kick there from Ethan Fisher. I don't think Ed Common was quite five metres away, so fortunately for him, it will be retaken. Had the regulation 20, so now into any additional time added up. Absolutely none. So we go into the half-time break. A fantastic game of football. Sam Smith opening the scoring before 
a beautiful Ed Common equaliser. Teesside 1, Newcastle United Foundation 1. Join myself and Ollie Crawshaw for the second half shortly. Testing, 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 testing.
Hello everyone and welcome back. The final half of football to be played here in game week four of the 23-24 PTC Therapeutics Premiership, certainly that of Saturday's fixtures where you join myself, Ryan Sippel, and my co-commentator, Ollie Crawshaw, for this game between Teesside and Newcastle. Give me your thoughts on the first half, Ollie. Uh, it was what I thought, very tight game. A lot of, i seen what I predicted was Ethan and Tyler battling between them, which was what happened. And I think if it's like this in the second half, we're in for another treat. I certainly hope so. Um, it looks like the teams are unchanged from that that finished the first half. I'll give confirmation of them ones once we are underway. Um, but very, very quickly, I'll just show you the top six standings in the Premiership division. Um, and you will see that this potential result would see Teesside and Newcastle stagger slightly in their pursuit of the Premiership title. But still a really impressive accumulation of points as our referee Carolyn Bean blows the whistle to get proceedings underway Teesside 1, Newcastle 1 but so even both had chances, both had moments of magic can they replicate that in the second Sam Smith brilliantly keeps it in play back to Ethan Fisher, didn't quite know where the ball was Alastair Hay had to 180 and readjust to prevent that going over the line, but exactly what Jamie Harrison would have wanted from his team early in this second half. Fisher trying to pick out Albie Morris on the right. Another attempt, this time off the side of Mitch Tinkler's chair. Lee Armstrong comes out to re restrict the advancement of Teesside. Ethan Fisher just dropping back as the, m as the most defensive of the four players. Tinkler into common. Over to Tyler Reeve. Tinkler colliding with that door trying to keep it in play live on court B these chariots currently lead seven oaks by goal to nil that's also live across the WFA's YouTube channel here on court A we have Teesside versus Newcastle Newcastle have started the second half brightly. Teesside yet to cause any real threats. A pick off diagonally across the court out for a Newcastle ball. Fisher cleared by Reeve. Nice pick off from Tinkler. The follow-up effort, Tinkler, heavy contact, rotating into the chair of Ethan Fisher, escapes any punishment because a two-on-one was awarded prior to that contact. Tinkler looks a little bit worse for wear. I think he's okay to continue. The thumbs up to referee Carolyn Bean. with games like this you're always going to get contact like that just because how battle, uh, how both teams like to battle up the pitch and then start passing so in that centre area you're always going to get little uh, contact on the chairs pick off from Fisher 
Set Sam Smith away. Now over to Albie Morris. Guides it goalbound, cleared by Tyler Reeve. Very congested in that final third. Albie Morris can't quite keep it in play. Seaside kicking. The better option for Albie there. He could have tried going all the way around and slotting it into that near post. But like I was saying earlier, he's still working on it getting his confidence up at that. So Yeah, the decision making and making the right decision at the right time is something that comes with experience and time. And he's certainly improving significantly. It's fired into the left hand post of Teesside. Out of danger. Mains Teesside 1, Newcastle 1. Salby Morris, and that's a beautiful attempt. Rotated spin kick. Didn't quite have the power to trouble Teesside, but fantastic connection to have an attempt on goal. We talk about decision making. I think that was the better, definitely. the best possible option he could have adopted there. Yeah, definitely. on one in favour of Teesside. Five minutes in, yet to really break into the Newcastle half. Sounds like there's been a goal on court B. Leeds have doubled their lead against Seven Oaks. I'll bring you confirmation of that one in just a few seconds' time. Tinkler now looking to add a goal to his impressive performance. Fisher down to Morris, intercepted by Tinkler. Good work from Tinkler there. I don't think a point favours either of these two teams. Both will want maximum points in their pursuit of not only their highest placement possible, but even potentially dethroning Aspire with a number of teams at the summit to meet each other in game week five. Could go down to the, the wire. Could be a three or four, four horse race. Sam Smith trying to weave his way past Mitch Tinkler. He's been so strong all game. Takes possession. Newcastle have the options covered well, so he has to go back in the hope of going forward. Cleared by Sam Smith. Fisher intercepted by Tinkler good adjustment by Ed Common Reeve to Tinkler over to Ed Common he's going to attempt an effort a goal into the side of Ethan Fisher's chair Sam Smith coming to limit the opportunities and a ricochet takes it from Newcastle's box all the way up the court into Teesside's half Similar to that of the first half. Nothing to separate these two. There's a reason they're locked on 35 points apiece in the Premiership standings. 
Sam Smith just providing a shield for Ethan Fisher to cut Ed Common out of the game. I don't think they quite know what to do, but Ed Common drops off to allow Tyler Reeve the space to engage. Now Common trying to squeeze the ball over to Tinkler. Reversed out of play from Sam Smith, corner ball. First 10 minutes of this half, Newcastle have mainly been defending. So they need to, if they want another goal, they need to break that spell and get up the pitch. Yeah, as you say that, a brilliant, well-worked set piece from Teesside. See them regain that one goal advantage. I'll be frustrated for Newcastle. They'll be frustrated for Newcastle. They've, they've probably been the better of the two teams but set pieces proving such a point of difficulty and Tyler Reeve adds a goal to his name let's just have a look at what that does for Teesside scorers Tyler Reeve now one goal more than Ed Common who secured the equaliser in the first half. So Teesside have gone from a goal down to this 2-1 scoreline. Get a substitute, the first of the game. It's going to be for Newcastle. Aaron Guthrie coming on. Albie Morris coming off. They just readjust. Aaron Guthrie will probably be the most defensive of the four Newcastle players. Ethan Fisher just in front. Now Lee Armstrong with responsibility in an attacking wide area. Fisher down the line. Cleared by Tinkler. Ethan Fisher pointing to Aaron Guthrie as to wh where to best place his chair to prevent Ed Common from scoring Teesside's third. Still 2-0 on court B. 2-1 on this one. Another set piece. Can they capitalise yet again? 1-2 between Common and Reeve over to Tinkler. Didn't quite get the power on that to trouble Ethan Fisher. Over to Lee Armstrong. Just didn't have the power to meet Sam Smith. The idea though. Newcastle this half just don't know how to break down and counter attack on the T side press. And the passing they need to get going again if they're wanting to get back up the pitch and hopefully get the equaliser. Yeah, they do seem slightly out of ideas. I have to give credit to Teesside, though. They've been brilliant, well organised. Alistair Hay has had little to no involvement in the 12 and a half minutes of this second half. Indirect free kick for Teesside. Tyler Reeve just instructed Mitch Tinkler to take a position in the box. Reeve down to Common, trying to guide the ball across the box. Aaron Guthrie does well. Six and a half minutes remaining. Can Newcastle find that equaliser? If there's a next goal in this game now, it's going to be a really big goal. If Newcastle get the equaliser, that will be 
very good for to end to this half for them after how much That's, pressure yeah. they've been on. But then if Teesside get the goal, that then just improves their goal difference for then challenging for the title. Let's bring up the top six standings following that Teesside goal. You can see they leapfrog Newcastle in the standings. Go joint on points with West Bromwich Albion. Such a huge goal as Ed Coleman just lets that roll over to Tinkler. Still locked up, locked up on the edge of the box. Ed Coleman goes the long way round. Takes his time. Tinkler's in space. The angle's not necessarily there, and he tries to capitalise on Aaron Guthrie. Providing a gap at that right hand post. It remains T side two, Newcastle one. Ed Common with this corner kick. Tinkler in a good position on the edge of the box. Strikes the ball just wide of the left hand post. can see the top goal scorers of the Premiership division. Brad Bates leading the way with 23. Ed Common and Tyler Reeve in second and third. Marcus Harrison joint on goals with the two above him. Dan McClellan on 14. Don't think that takes into consideration that earlier goal from T Tyler Reeve. So he will be second in pursuit of the top goal scorer award. It's been a great battle between Tinkler and Fisher, the two number 10s. This second half, nothing's working for Newcastle, no matter what they try. No, they've really struggled to break into Teesside's half. It's going to need that man, Ethan Fisher, to inspire something. Tyler Reeve is just anticipating the angles and the passes that Ethan Fisher wants to make. But they're committed players forward. In a desperate search for the equalising goal. Haven't got long left. Three and a half minutes to be played. Tinkler down the line. It's a risky option from Fisher there. Almost gifted a chance to Ed Common. Fisher down to Smith. I do think Newcastle are starting to get frustrated. It just seemed like they're out of ideas. Definitely, as when the passes start going, one it just ends with one miss ball and then T side are back on the attack again. So just nothing for them is working in this second half, no matter what they try. So but fair play to T side because they've played really well to pin Newcastle in. Yeah, their high pressing play has been brilliant. They're two minutes away from securing three points. This will certainly not harm that prospect. Indirect free kick taken by Tyler Reeve. Mitch Tinkler in space on the right as you view it. But he fires it into the side of Ethan Fisher out for a corner kick. with an attempt at goal Lee Armstrong desperately trying to evade Tinkler there's a lot of pace on that ball keeps it in play the first time they've occupied an attacking position of the court in quite some time
approaching the final minute. Teesside 2, Newcastle 1. Good work from Fisher. This will probably be one of the last chances of the game for Newcastle. Can they replicate their earlier goal? That is the question. Lee Armstrong at the back post. Sam Smith in the centre. As Ethan Fisher just connects with the wall as he makes contact with that set piece. Thirty seconds to go. Fisher down to Smith. Off of the bumper of Tyler Reeve, who keeps it in play. Have to be careful of the two on one. Sam Smith trapped in that top left hand corner. Any further advancement from Ethan Fisher would surely result in an indirect free kick for Tyler Reeve and his team. Ethan Fisher a little bit too aggressive as deemed by our referee Carolyn Bean. Direct free kick for Tiso. We've had the regulation 20, so now into any additional time. I doubt very much. It looks like Tiso will secure the three points. And that they absolutely have. Commiserations to Newcastle. Let's bring up the live league table just to see how that impacts the standings. Teesside, 15 games played, 12 wins, 37 points as they get ready for their games tomorrow against Manchester United, sorry, against West Bromwich Albion Throstles and Nomad Knights. There's no reason why across the remaining games of game week four and game week five they can't challenge at the top. A slight stumble from Newcastle, but Max, they'll want maximum points from their games tomorrow against Manchester United and Nomad Knights. Thank you to all that have joined myself and Ollie for this one. We'll be back tomorrow.